Cancer treatments can be tough. You or the person you know with cancer may feel tired or unwell, and there are other changes you might notice too. This is because some cancer medicines damage healthy cells as well as cancer cells. This can include hair roots, meaning some patients like Ruby and Connor lose their hair. This happened to 12-year-old Tiva too, who has now recovered from cancer. How did you first notice something was wrong? Well, I came home from school one day and my brother and sister went in the garden. I wanted to play with them and I could not run. I just got so tired and out of breath so quickly. So my mum booked me for a doctor's appointment. Like Hassan, Tiva was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukaemia. My whole family was there and everyone was in tears. It was one of the worst days of my life. What was your first question? Am I going to lose my hair? Really? That was literally the first thing that That was literally it? the first question that I asked my mum. I loved my hair, I loved styling it. When I did go on to my chemo and it did start falling out, it was like, I'm going to lose all of it. When I went to the hairdressers and they said, well, we can get you a free wig, I was so happy. And when they told me that they could get the wig, like, in a few days, I was like, well, let's shave it off then. Awesome, Tiva. For many young people with cancer, wearing a wig can seem like a strange idea. But here at the Little Princess Trust, they specialise in making real hair wigs. They use hair from amazing people who donate their own locks, just like Darcy. What made you decide to donate your hair? Well, my nan died like a year ago, so I thought to raise money for motor neuron disease is what she died with. Also, I've known for a very long time that people lose their hair from cancer. So I knew at the time I've got long hair, so if I donated my hair, people like my age would feel a bit happier. Yeah. That's brilliant. Is the hair in the envelope? Yeah. Can I see? Yeah. This is amazing. How did it feel when you had your head shaved? It was cold. Well, I know exactly that feeling. You will get used to it, I promise you. When you look at it all, do you miss your hair or are you happy to see it find a new home? Happy to see it find a different person made into a wig. Darcy, you're amazing. And you're in good company. The Duchess of Cambridge and Harry Styles have donated their hair. So what happens next? It takes between 14 and 16 donations of hair to make a wig. Now, once that hair's been processed, it comes here, where it's given to wig knotters like Holly. Each hair is individually knotted to the wig cap through these tiny holes. It's incredibly difficult. So just through one hole, not through four. All right. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. You're I got nailing it. This. Go Am on, I quick. nailing it? Yeah, keep going. Okay, okay, you... keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Okay, don't panic. Pretty impressive, Zand. It's extremely fiddly. I can hardly see the thing I'm working on. How long does it take to do an entire week? Between 30 and 60 hours. Wow, that is a long time. The wigs can be made in any colour and style to become the perfect hairdo. At one point, I had a pink wig, which I absolutely loved. And I also got a natural colour wig. It felt like my hair. It felt like me again. I just kept thinking positive that it was going to grow back and I could have hair like this. Wearing a wig isn't for everyone, but it's one way that some people living with cancer can feel better during treatment. <laughs> I got a face, right? 